uh, Rock of Africa said they were going to Haiti and I really wanted to join them. Uh, we're going to be going to orphanages. Sorry, I look like this. I've not slept it up the entire night flying to the Dominican Republic then an eight hour overland journey to get to the Haitian border. This is the border now. About to get back in our van. Just look at this. That's what's going on here. Where are they checking them? Haitian border. This is a, these are soldiers from Peru, United Nations soldiers. Is the United Nations armored truck. It's a big UN operation in Haiti. This is the uh, Haitian, um, this is the Haitian uh, immigration place. We went to the country. Just look what's going on here behind me. Just look at that. Okay. Here, look, at, here, look at these. The heroes of the University of Miami Medical Center and the U.S. military. Look at the lives they're saving. Look at the work they're doing. They're just incredible. It's all from, all from the University of Miami. These people are just angels saving lives. Look at these incredible people. Emergency area. Amazing. Look at that devastation here. Wow, oh my god, look at that! Unbelievable. Uh, this puts it into perspective. Mm, the poverty. It was gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's pure rubble. Sick. Pure rubble. Oh my god, what are they looking for? Look at this. What are they looking for? We're going to an orphanage now. for two years and she broke her foot. Her leg actually. She may need an orthopedic surgeon too. Wow. We found out her knee didn't quite. She had to be set at our place. Wow. Oh my god. I can't believe the story. Yeah. This is Oresto. That's the sweetest little kid you'll ever meet. C'est bon? C'est bon? Okay. So he had to cut off his own son's arm. Yeah, see that? Oh my god. Uh, not his arm. So sweet. This is where the firefighters. Okay. Some That's of one of their projects. Oh, I did oh, uh, that structure there. Mm -hmm. uh, that was John's idea. Uh, <laughs> is it? That's the most the indestructible tent. <laughs> 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 this is a much better game. It is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Got to get this video. So these are these are fire. Yeah, just give your finger. These are firefighters from California. <laughs> yes. Well, we have one yeah. here from Canada and one, one here from Washington. Washington. Okay. We we our groups from all over the world. And how long have you guys been here? Well, we have been here what uh, about nine days. Or nine days. Amazing. Yeah. You'll be here about two weeks in total. No, we are no, going back tomorrow. Wow. But we will be coming when when they get the airport open. I'm sure we'll be coming back down. And you guys come out here and you. Volunteer for all this time. These are the things you're yes, we're making this the desk that They said that they needed seating for 50, uh, what, 50 students. 50 students. And we're giving them seat, seating for 60. Yeah. So, and we, we also. Love the yeah. yeah. And these will be, these, I think these will be pretty good. And that's if they sit three students in here. But we, we sat them in here. It looks like you can. 
Uh, <laughs> you haven't seen our big boys though. Just, she was under rubble. Dust all filling dust the air, everywhere. dust everywhere. There are people starting to pour out into the streets. People are screaming. They're saying it's the end of the world. Praying, pleading to God for mercy. Uh, the kids run, the girls okay. ran out of the um, clothes house to try to get in, away from the walls and get out in the middle of the street. And across the street, there was an old woman living in a house there, and there's somebody yelling. And two men from one of our teams ran in and pulled her out. There was blood pouring out of her. I have, um, I'm to do the and I have my this mom. is what the kids see. This is the first thing they see, the girls. And within minutes, people start streaming up, the, up these streets, coming here, because we run a medical clinic. And they think, if I can get med I know I can get medicine there, I know I can get help there. And within an hour, there's a triage. People all over this area uh, laying down well, as they're being brought in. They carry badly broken bones. Okay, so when we decided to come down here and um, just kind of assess the need of, of just the people of Haiti, um, what would you say? The most immediate need right now is of, um, when it comes to donations or supplies. What is the immediate need for for your organization, for the orphanage that you're a part of here? Um, yeah. For the orphanage itself, it sounds crazy, but um, the kids really need medicines right now. Uh, after the orphanage, after the I mean the earthquake, um, all the kids were sleeping outside. You know, they were very dirty, urinating. We're scared, so we've got a lot of other mattresses that really need to be replaced. For the community, there's just this on, on, ongoing request for tents. 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 Lots of to have tents. some kind of shelter. Yes, and it's all temporal because the, the rainy season is coming right now. We know that they're not going to be able to stay. We've got six dogs. Okay, I can't begin to describe this. This is a. It was a nursing home. And uh, oh. I was sorry, it's a nursing college. I'm, I'm gagging as I'm speaking. Because... Oh. I can't even look. Stench, stench of death is everywhere. You see people's feet sticking out. It's 130 bodies that are stuck in there. It's just terrible. How are you? All right, thank God. And there's a, and there's a, a bus that was crushed. And it's just so sad. 30 nurses and a lot of children that were in there. And there's a... What? There's a search and rescue team that are trying to cut out the bodies. There's a woman's leg sticking out and you see a woman's hair as well. It's just too much to watch, too much to see. It's just terrible. I can't describe this, honestly. There's a human skull there, there's a foot sticking out. So this is, these were nurses, huh? This is a hero who's been here three weeks. So you came here three weeks to, you dropped 30 bodies. But that story about the bodies being left there and being eaten by dogs, I looked at the, at the bone and I thought it was a human bone and the guy told us it's not, but these are human bones. I saw a spinal column. Do you see the red biohazard bags down there? No. Okay, when, when you walk out, there's, there's red biohazard bags and we covered up the bodies last, uh, what's say? Tuesday, last Thursday, with those bags, and the dogs are just gotten them. There's just, there's, there's no, there's, there's no one to collect coffins. the bodies. There's not enough coffins. There's just not enough coffins. Um. Over there, there were people's there were legs and bodies that are sticking up. The stench of death everywhere. You gag and you just cry. You're seeing something this terrible. There's relief workers that are cutting the bodies out. It's just too much to even watch.